I uh, just want you folks to know this is somewhat I consider a historic shoot for us. Over the last several years, we've done at least 60 shoots with HANA startups. This is the first time we've ever talked with a customer of a hardest HANA startup. Now, technically, uh, your relationship with Convergence, which is the HANA startup, they're not strictly a HANA startup. They've been in the healthcare business for quite some time, and you guys had a pre-existing relationship with them that goes back a number of years. But can you set the stage for when you first started talking with them about this newfangled thing called HANA and what kinds of challenges might it address for you? What did you do? Sure, so we, uh, late 2013, November, December 2013, mm -hmm. um, chose breast cancer mm -hmm. as a uh, proof of concept. And that space really presents significant challenges from a data perspective because uh, you have treatment data that are in the uh, physicians' offices and in the hospitals and in the clinics. You have imaging data, uh, you have screening data, diagnostic data. All those things are located in different areas, mm -hmm. you know, different databases. Um, and there's no good way to link patients across there, you know. Um, at an individual level, you can kind of do that when a doctor's meeting with the patient, but in terms of a group, how do all of my breast right. cancer patients look? So we picked breast cancer proof of concept. Yep. launched that and uh, that's what I referred to it took us 30 days to you know a day to load all the data into HANA yep which that's that was remarkable yeah um, and then 30 days to, to have canned reports that clinicians had nominated or, or said I need this I need that mm -hmm. we had administrators in the clinical side on the cancer center who spent two weeks basically hand tallying data to submit wow. for national accreditation yeah we got that from them, and that's one of the canned reports that's, you know, cool. Milliseconds now. So when did the POC part end? Um, well, you know, th with POCs, the thing with that, they never really end, right? right. They yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, fuzz yeah. into, so I so think you're that. you're kind of phasing into the next thing. Phasing into the full-blown cancer, right. breast cancer uh, view or right. insight, right? And, and um, tell us what, what kind of feedback <coughs> you got. I assume that physicians were fairly blown away by what kind of things did they tell you? Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they you know, it was almost like a stupor at first where yeah. they were just like, I don't believe it. You know, yeah. you guys are you're pulling our legs. You loaded a bunch of data in there, and these are reports yeah. or whatever. And then we did questions on the fly, you know, and they were like, oh, my God, you can do that. And, um, so the, and the were they thinking in their minds, this is going <coughs> to change how I interact with patients as a result of oh, that? Oh, absolutely. Was that, that was absolutely. what they were really excited about, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, just to give you a peek in the healthcare environment briefly, yeah. you know, a lot of physicians get measured on these quality metrics, right? So if they sure. say, oh, you're 85% compliant with this quality metric for diabetes, yeah. let's say, well, they have no idea what that 15, how, what that 15 looks like that they're failing. Is it they're not practicing correctly? Is it that those patients are just not healthy? You know, and so um, for them, this was like, I can get a crack at that 15%. I can look at how I measure up with my colleagues, how I measure up nationally. Those comparatives are important yeah. in healthcare. So we should wrap the shoot in a sec um, and move on to our airplanes and various things, but tell us briefly, like a year from now, where do you want to be? Are you going to now expand this to a number of other areas besides breast cancer? And is that the goal? Absolutely the goal. I think we've got already have a roadmap of about 20 different areas. Okay. Um, we'd like to move into a space where we're using data um, to help doctors and healthcare systems treat patients more accurately or more better or better. Um, I think that, uh, you know, a year from now, I'd love to have Convergence CT and Advocate Healthcare on the, the main stage at the SAP Sapphire Now right. conference right. to say, hey, this is what we did. Bill McDermott, hand over the mic. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's very good. Absolutely. Think bigger to go home. All right. Well, let's mention the bill next time we see him. <laughs> Absolutely. In the meantime, best of luck to you and Convergence CT. It sounds like a great story. Thank you very much. Take it's care. It's been a pleasure.